Hey Veracity, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl from more and I'm back with another reaction video. Guys, I'm super excited. Today I'm gonna to be reacting to Charlie Clark. Once another my reaction to his videos, hit the link above. Okay, so this is woman almost dies after learning what accountability is. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I I also believe that dies. Even the real dies as in dying <laughs> because it is hilarious all right guys i can't wait to get into the video sorry 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 for the dog at the background i'm so sorry before we get started we have some amazing people watching us for the first time if you're new to the channel i am vera i do reaction videos this one today you love wanna join vera ct if you subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so you can always be the first person to know Whenever a new video drops, and those guys, let's go. Okay. okay. So one thing I want to start off with is why does your opinion trump over any other people's opinion? Right. So there, do you believe that there is a truth out there? Everything is subjective, but there is a right or wrong morally, especially when you're in a cultured society that is um, based off a set of standards and norms that we act on and we like act as. So, so everything is subjective. So is it objectively true you and I are having a conversation right now? Yes. So that's not subjective then. So not everything is subjective. So why do you believe morals? Okay. Right, so something is objective. Yes, but why do you believe your subjective opinion trumps there. over other people's right. opinion? Well, well let me ask you another like question. Right I'll tell you, this. I will no, answer. please don't interrupt me. <laughs> you can, no, let me finish my sentence. I do not want to hear it. Wow. You think that your opinion is over other people's opinions. You think you were right subjectively. Okay. What is right or wrong? Okay, is murder wrong? Yes, of course. Well then, abortion Not should be illegal. Not in every case. Answer what, to what, question. What constitutes a human? What is a human? Deoxyribonucleic acid and the and conception. But to me, a human forming. would be someone with a consciousness who is alive in yeah, this world. Well, to guess you, guess what? You're wrong. So that's no, fine. But no, you're wrong because I think that's right and you think that's Prove right. Me. Prove it wrong. <laughs> what constitutes a human be being? What is the so definition of a human DNA being? The creation so of DNA that will never exist again, mm -hmm. and a soul goes into that moment. I don't expect you guys. What's a soul? A soul? What's a soul? The. I don't no, know. What is a soul? What is a soul? The eternal, indistinguishable. Let's just say non-visible being of your of your existence. But I don't like, believe that. I don't well, believe anything I'm is sorry. eternal. And that doesn't that, that, that does not make yours a Yeah, you, you well, hold on a second. Is at like some, here's the thing. At some point somebody's truth has to win. Because guess what? Your yeah. truth is Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I don't really have in this conversation. She said, Oh let me talk, let me finish. Let me finish <laughs> She already knew she's she's losing it and she was like, let me finish, let me talk, let me talk. What's a soul? What's a soul? What's a soul? Girl, come on. It's really Charlie always, you know, come down to their level for me. Like he always come down to their level, explain things to them. Cause what? Gosh. Death. Your truth doesn't matter. That's guess still what? a truth You've claim. had your truth in this country for the past thousands of decades. You're... Thousands of decades? Not thousands. Goodness. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little embarrassing. But, yeah. like, your, your truth has been the narrative of this country forever. Has and it? you think... Roe vs. Yes, Wade white, just got truth, repealed. Abortion was the, legal in the, this country for 40 years. Ooh. And before the 40 years, what was And it? crime dropped Thankfully, 40% after it went. And on top yeah. of that, yeah. do you Oh, wait, hold on. Do you think abortion lowers crime rates? Crime, crime dropped 40% after abortion became... Crime drug after abortion became legal. But she doesn't know what she's saying right now. And the fact that so many people are asking him questions at the same time. Can you just calm down? Like, three people are asking him questions at the same freaking time. You guys should calm your nerves. Come on. How can you say abortion was reduced? Crime was reduced after abortion became legal. That's our own facts, anyways. Why, why is that the case? Uh, it's called a statistic. Who, who has the most abortions in America? Um, women. Black people. Is that black so? Women. Are you trying to say the termination of blacks in the womb lower crime? <laughs> that's a ve that's a very racist argument. That is not okay. okay. You know blacks. You know blacks have forty five percent of the blacks. 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 Why are they shouting? What? Okay. You guys can come up and talk if you want. Yeah, it's like it's 95 degrees out here, man. So, yes, sir. That's a 
No, you're the racist. You're the says that abortion lowers crime rates and blacks have the most abortions in the country. Yes. It's not name calling. Wait, is it not Black Lives Matter or is it African American Lives Matter? It's both. Oh, really? Okay, I thought it was BLM, so I say blacks. Okay. He was just. Okay, not too much, Andrew. Do you believe that you have some sort of privilege that skews your view on other people's lives? Because personally, I don't believe you could step in my shoes as a black woman and relate and understand the things. So I feel like it's not fair for you to choose what I get to do with my life because I'm a black woman in a white society. What does being black have to do with truth? Because there are different things that we experience, like and my truth might not be like truth. What? You get into college easier than I do? What? Affirmative action. <laughs> yes, you get jobs and internships that white kids don't get. Oh, poor, we're you have poor a, white people. You have, a, you have entire movements dedicated That's, to your race. We're so, like, okay. Right. Sir, do you remember the Those movements voice? are to get oh, rights. Okay. You're crazy. Okay, so, solid. Do you, solid. Do you not believe in racism? Do, of course racism exists. The Democrat Party is still alive and well. Do you think people are racist against white people? Of all the time. All the time. That's his definition. Affirmative action is racism against white people. Yes. And Asians as well. And Asians, that's right. So I, I do have a question in that sense. If affirmative action is racism, why are most colleges predominantly white? Why are they most predominantly white? Why are most colleges, public colleges, are predominantly yeah, white? We are a, talking we're you, a right? majority white country. Hey, you realize that, right? Uh, so, so colleges are the depiction of the nation. Okay. And actually, blacks on campus are disproportionate more than their population in certain areas, in certain campuses, than their population. Because of affirmative action. In HBCU? Is that what certain you're campuses. About? Are you talking about HBCUs? So, but let me just ask a more broad philosophical question: Why does skin color matter at all? Why should we care about? Because it? of the society we live in. Because well, of the society. But, but no. You're dismissing anything that has ever happened to someone. Of let color me ask by you a question: that. What can what can you do, or what can I do that you can't do? What law? Affirmative, affirmative action is lowering of test standards and quota Wrong. for a quota. There it is. No, it's I'm not. It's the way it works. It's the way it works. Oh my gosh, did you just say wrong, you're an idiot? Gosh, oh my gosh, do you really have to cuss? Just because you want to make your point. Oh my goodness, Charlie is really allowing these kids. Oh, oh my gosh, he said, you're wrong, you're an idiot. <laughs> did you just bombard me with questions? Oh my god. I'm not going to entertain fallacies. No, no, tell me, you, you why? Entertain me because I just let him why, talk. We have to hear your guess. Why? Why, it's fine. why it's fine. does skin color matter? I believe, I believe skin be color matters He's because of the society. He's not being respectful. Do you know how And I guess it goes into critical right? race theory. Yes, right? it is. Because it's of respectful. the society we have lived in, too. race I'll is a too. factor. It's if from the beginning of time, race wasn't a factor, <laughs> and there was never anybody who was oppressed because of their race, I feel like it would not play a part in anything that we do. But because literally less... <laughs> what are they saying? If they were interrupting you, I was... <laughs> <laughs> Black crime. Do I believe in black on black crime? Yeah, yeah it's abundant. Yeah, it's the number one cause of death in many black communities. I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, Okay. Now, so do you, so back to our previous argument that was interrupted. Um, so in the sense of what, like, like I was saying, you don't believe like because of the history and because somebody races have been oppressed, you don't believe like race plays a part in things, and you don't believe like. No, 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 that's not true. No, no. So you know, I, do you know who Thomas Sowell is? You know who Thomas Sowell is? No. I really encourage you to look. Thomas Sowell's great. He's one of the best black economists. Oh, she doesn't even know Thomas Sowell. And he's done the best research in the 1940s, 1950s, and 60s black community. And essentially, his argument is that black America was experiencing a renaissance in the 50s and 60s, despite discrimination. Yes. Now, the one part that I would agree with. But, however, it's not the black community uh, as a whole. It's Harlem black community. There are, it's Chicago, too. But let's pretend you're right. Okay. Yes. The one argument that I would agree with, and I'm, I'm against systemic racism arguments, the one that I would say, you know what, there was something very wrong, is when Democrat Lyndon Baines Johnson came in and destroyed the black nuclear family. If there was one part where I could say, you know what, that was unjust and that has to be undone, it's when Lyndon Baines Johnson went in to the Great Society program with the intent 
to destroy the black nuclear family. Okay. So in that sense, do you believe the war on drugs also played a part? Or not do you not really. believe in no. the war on drugs? Well, look, I mean, I believe we should be very harsh on drugs. But I think there is, I would give some merit to the argument of some government agencies peddling cocaine in the inner cities. There is, there is evidence to show that. I'm not going to debate it. Do I think it has the, so for example, like there's one number that I'm fascinated with, right? Single motherhood in the black community was about 28% in 1945. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right now, now it's around 65 to 70%. Yeah. Why? Are we more racist than we were in 1945? No. Okay. No. So then what happened? Militarism. The war on drugs. Okay, the fair war enough. On drugs. Um, the demolish, demolishing the nuclear family, in a sense. Right. And I agree. believe due to the history that's happened, it, racism is still very prevalent in a lot of the systemic, I mean, a lot of the systems that yeah. are in America, correct? Yeah. So, no, no, of course not. But I'm actually, I was actually caught by your shirt. You know Malcolm X was super pro-life? Yes. I, I think Malcolm X could teach a lot of the black movement something, because it, 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 more so than Martin Luther King, because Malcolm X, I'm, I'm getting there, Ma Malcolm X, I, I, they, some people miss, don't describe him correctly as being violent, right? That was a very small part of his literature. He was very big on trying to get black Ameri America to succeed, to, to succeed despite the black, to, despite the white liberal. Yes. And I, not the white liberal. He did say white liberal. Oh, you go look up the Malcolm X white liberal quote. And so I think that's interesting. Just think about it. Go look up the, Malcolm X warned against white liberals owning black America for their own gain. So, which is exactly what BLM is. Okay, so back to my back to my initial yeah. point. Back to my initial point. You don't believe that my truth can be different than yours specifically. No, no, ex on exper race. experiences can be different. But there is always a truth. I'll give you an example. We all might have five different opinions of a car crash, right? But eventually a truth will be revealed of what really happened. Does that make sense? So you believe that your truth is, your the truth that you have found yourself is the ultimate truth. I would hope so, yeah. And I'm willing to learn. And then make America great again. Otherwise, I mean, and I'm actually, I think Malcolm X can teach us a lot right now. Yes. What do you think about like the 1960s and 70s uh, militarization of the police? The shift in the police? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm generally very pro-police. What about the mil what about the military? I mean, what? the question is, what came first? And I honestly don't know the answer. Was it the rise in crime, or was it the incre was it the the well, police that went into the? If you knew what you were talking about, you would know the answer. Yeah, it's not so clear yeah, um, because there was a massive crime wave in the early 1970s in New York, where a lot of New Yorkers demanded more police with heavy, heavy we heavier weaponry and the ability to. to enforce the law and post militarization of the police crime went up and then it went down in the 80s violent crime went big time down well, let's big talk time. about the 10 years that right after what happened there what do you think happened so there? so you're drawing a correlation between police officers being militarized and more people committing crimes over militarization of the police yes is why uh, not exactly more people committing crimes, more people being arrested for crimes okay. and put into jail or okay. minor Yeah, I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't disagree with that. Uh, the prison system, I mean, it, we account for... Yeah, account I mean, for I, I, why, why do people go to prison, right? Because they commit crimes, so... The fact that <laughs> Charlie is debating 20 people at the same time, and it's still good. <laughs> They're always bombarding me with questions. Gosh, who are these actually college students? Like... Their mentality, their way of reasoning, it's crazy. I don't know. The guy that called Charlie an idiot went ahead to say that Charlie was being disrespectful. Gosh. Make it make sense. The blonde girl was feeling on top of the world. Like, <laughs> while the, uh, the short or the petite black girl actually wanted to have a conversation, okay? So she was asking her questions reasonably. She actually wanted to have a conversation and she was really respectful. And I, she was really respectful and I love that about her. Mm. So she said, <laughs> and she was like, don't interrupt me. I don't want to hear of it. I don't want to, don't, don't do that. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> yes, they would do let him speak. Sorry guys, I had no idea my mic stopped working. But... I think Charlie Clark is really amazing and he had so much patience dealing with those kids. I love the way he gave each of them attention despite the fact that one, some of them were being rude, he still took out his time, you know, to explain these basic things to them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. What do you think about this video? Drop your comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts 
on this if you enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video and if you're new to the channel join viewer ct hit the subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops love you bye